Hello, everybody. I'm back and I'm really excited. Let me set my clock so I can really watch my time. And uh, I know you're saying you're always excited, but today I really, 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 really am for real, for real. So we have back with us and I'm going to tell you the story. I was just on Instagram uploading something because my assistant was uh, uh, traveling and plus her daughter was in the hospital, but she's, she's well now. And uh, I saw Joel and I'm like, what's Joel up to? And then I start listening to his reels and they were so powerful. I just felt led of the spirit that I should have him back. So let me introduce him. Joel Solomon is a financial expert. He is a master. Y'all know a master is anybody who got 10,000 hours or more. He got more than that. He's a master prosperity coach and the founder uh, of a hedge fund named after his daughters. I think he managed over $700 million. That's close to a billion, y'all. And he now has a great uh, Money Miracles membership. Uh, he's, a, he's an award-winning speaker and has uh, led over 20 workshops. He just finished recording his TED Talk, which we're going to talk about. He's the best-selling author of The Nine Rules uh, Millionaires Use. And I can say that from his heart, I know this, that he really wants to help others overcome obstacles standing in their way from their all from their own financial freedom y'all know that is the will of god for all of us so joel welcome back to the Love thank Attraction you so much Radio for having Network. Me. thank you so much constance for having me i am so grateful for you and and it's an honor to be here what's going on you have a lot going on uh, your daughter is in college now and and i just kidding him before we got on the call i said well i give you some free counseling if you need it joel you know because of you know empty nester kind of thing how you doing with that i i'm doing great i am i am grateful that i've already got to see her twice in the last uh, few weeks as as she went up uh as a freshman to Syracuse University, and I'm getting to see her again in just a couple of weeks again, as I am connecting with a, a group of women entrepreneurs in Syracuse to talk to them about financial freedom and how to overcome limiting beliefs around their business. So that's what we're going to be talking about. So we're going to get right in it. Everybody, he's a master in prosperity. I mean, if you manage almost a billion dollars he's going to help us today so he's going to talk about some limiting beliefs but y'all know me when my little nosy self i'm going to throw in some questions that i heard him answer on his instagram account which will align with that so joel what's up yeah, Go ahead. thank you thank you again for having me constant so one thing i wanted to talk about is something that I was talking about with a networking buddy yesterday. And, and you know, I, we talk about how to shift your beliefs from limiting to empowering and how to use affirmations and how to visualize. The problem is when you're in a funk, right? You're starting to go down. Maybe your business has, like his business, for example, mm -hmm. he's, he has, he has uh, peaks and valleys and troughs, peaks, valleys, troughs, right? So he says the biggest issue he has when things aren't going well is how to get out of his head because he starts thinking negatively and starts, you know, and I, I say, look, I have some great techniques because one of them is rule number three in the nine money rules millionaires use, which is can happiness buy you money? And it's a rhetorical question. If you are happy 24 seven, right? If you are just ecstatic all the time, then prosperity and abundance, the, that vibration is really, really high, right? Happiness, joy, passion, purpose, gratitude, appreciation. Those are the highest vibrations. If you're vibrating up there and then the money's just flowing in. So that's a rhetorical question, right? Can happiness buy you money? So I said to him, you create happy habits. I right? do think, write down things that you can do when you're feeling worried or fearful or scarce about money, your business, you know, maybe you were generating $10,000 a month and now it's only five or three. 
or you're having a really bad month and nothing has come in in the first three weeks of the month and you start worrying and you start being fearful. So what can you do? So write down these happy habits first. What things make you happy? Maybe it's an uplifting song. So you put on a song or maybe for me, it's going for a jog or just taking a walk in nature or taking a look at pictures of the Maldives and visualizing myself being there. And that makes me happy, right? So write down some things. Maybe it's going for mani-pedi, right? Maybe it's going for a massage, but it doesn't have to be about spending money. It could be spending more time with your family. You know, when my kids were younger, you know, just like, you know, playing games, you know, playing Scrabble or playing some board games or playing ping pong, that just, that's lit me up. You know, maybe you have a dog or a cat, play with them. So just write down some things you can do now to create unconditional happiness in your life. I call it unconditional because it doesn't matter what the government's doing or what, you know, the economy's doing. You're playing with your dog, you're feeling good, right? It, it, there's unconditional love there. And usually dogs and cats have unconditional love for you. So you're feeling that. So that's what I recommended to him is have these thing, go-to things so that when you're not feeling so great, you can shift your feelings quickly. So th that's what I call rule number three in the nine money rules, can happiness buy you money? Create that happiness for yourself when you're not feeling great. And, and look, I know everyone doesn't feel ecstatic about their money situation 100% of the time. Even, even if you're quote unquote rich, you know, the rich sometimes feel the worst about their money situation because they're comparing themselves to other people. I had a client who was, some viewers may say very rich, but he was comparing himself to his buddies who he grew up with in Connecticut that are worth 10, 50, 100 million. And he's like, Joel, I feel so poor. I'm like, dude, you are living the dream life of 99% of the world and you're comparing yourself to the 0.05%, you know, you know, like, it's, it's really funny. So he, you know, we worked on happy habits for him to just shift his mindset, not stop comparing yourself to other people. So that's one thing I'd recommend doing. And two is affirmations, which I know they get a bad rap. You know, people say, oh, that's woo woo. But I will tell you that athletes use affirmations. And I, I will tell you Navy SEALs, Navy SEALs use positive self-talk, AKA affirmations also known as affirmations. So if the highest achievers in the world are using affirmations, why not be just like them and do what they're doing? And so I teach the right way to do affirmations. It's not, you know, if I tell you to say, I am a money magnet, don't say it just like I said it. <laughs> I'm a money, I'm money magnet. Right, mm -hmm. if there's no emotion, attached to it. If you're not saying it out loud with emotion and putting your name in it, by the way, is even more powerful. I, Joel Solomon, am a money magnet. I, I know, felt that. Right? Or, or gratitude. I am so grateful for all the money and prosperity I have right now. How powerful is that? You're saying Very. that. Every day. So people, I know people say, oh, it doesn't work. Well, belief is really critical. We started talking about limiting versus empowering beliefs. What do you believe? Because if the words you're saying, you don't believe them, if on a belief scale, one to 10, where 10 is absolute faith and one is massive doubt, if you're closer to massive doubt, like this is never gonna work. I've tried affirmations before. I'm still living paycheck to paycheck. Well, no, they're not gonna work. Because you're, you're, what's happening is you're like doing this. Okay, this is going to work. And then I'm going to say this. And then you're creating resistance by the belief, oh, that's not going to work. So you're doing this. You're battling against yourself. So I recommend only saying words that you believe in or saying words over and over and over again, which you don't believe in, which will eventually get into your subconscious. So there's two ways to create your reality. Right. It's just saying it over and over and over again until you're like it goes right into your subconscious and you're you're bypassing the conscious thought of that's not true or just saying words that are true and that you have a strong desire for. Because yeah, if you don't good. really desire it, 
you know, so I say, what's your belief level? If it's seven, eight, nine or 10, okay, say it. And what's your desire level? Because if you don't really want to go to the Maldives and do that course, teach infinite peace and prosperity to 250 people to help them create financial freedom, it's like, eh, I don't really want to do that. Well, it's not going to happen. You know, if you're like, yeah, it's not a real need. It's, you know, I don't really need that. I don't really want that Maserati, you know, the blue convertible one that goes from zero to 60 in three seconds and has a semi-autonomous, you know, 454 horsepower V8 engine and, you know, those leather seats. Yeah, I don't really need that. Then, you know, don't, don't think about it. Only focus on those items that you really desire. It's a burning desire, seven, eight, nine, or 10 on the desire scale and seven, eight, nine, or 10 on the belief scale. You know, that's really good. And, you know, you and I know that words are vibrational, they're frequencies. Yes. And when you speak it and affirm it, I mean, somebody says that when you begin to speak affirmations, pure energy and atoms begin to shift. Mm -hmm. And so for somebody who's out there, they just keep thinking about lack and if inflation, lack and inflation. I mean, if that's where your attention is, you're going to get more of that, right, Joel? Absolutely. Your you know, law of attraction is, you know, you teach it, I teach it. And so you're attracting to yourself what you're putting out. Now, thoughts do create energy. Thoughts do create vibration. People don't understand that because you don't see it. So things you don't see, you think, oh, it doesn't create a vibration, but your voice you can't see the sound frequencies, but that's creating a vibration and your thoughts are creating a vibration. So thoughts are things, think about what you're thinking and make them the positive ones, but know that the positive ones are so much more powerful than the negative ones. But then putting those sound frequencies out into the universe, you're attracting those same vibrations. That's why I was saying earlier, you know, would it be, crazy awesome to be happy 24 7 24 hours a day seven days a week 365 days a year because then you're attracting more and more happiness and joy into your life and if that for you means the abundance and prosperity and the gratitude and appreciation well that's the same vibration if you're vibrating happiness and goodness if you're feeling really great and good and great every day that's a really high vibration it is. It is. So it's money energy. Money, I say, well, that's actually a quote from my second book. Yes. Oh, I say, okay. I'm sorry. So thank you. No, <laughs> don't be sorry. I'd love you quoting my second book. So I say it is. I say everything's energy, right? So if you if you really parcel down even the laptop that I'm I'm talking you to you through, at the end of the day, it's just energy. There's atoms and it's energy right? It's, it's matter that's been slowed down to such a point that it's vibrating at a very low level. We're, we're energy. We're just vibrating at such a low level that we can see each other. But there's Good. other energies out there that we can't see, right? There's, there's sound and light that we can't see. So I say everything is energy and money is just vibrating. It's a piece of, you know, comes from paper, you know, it's paper, it's, it's vibrating at a, a, at a slow rate. And so, you know, we've made money this difficult thing. You know, it's hard to acquire. It's, it's that, it, this amorphous thing. But if you change your thoughts that money comes easily and frequently, money, this world is so abundant you know, this is an abundant world and I deserve and expect my share of that abundance now. What I an awesome that. affirmation to say to yourself or say out loud every day. Because think about it, there's the net worth of this globe, of this earth is $450 trillion right now, $450 mm. trillion. By the way, 120 years ago, it was $1 trillion. So we've grown $449 trillion in the last 120 years. How did that happen? Like, we didn't, we didn't take all the gold and platinum 
and ore from other planets and bring it down. That was all created on this planet from the people, from ideas, right? From other people's ideas and, and ideas created wealth and abundance and you know the technology that we have, all of that's been created over, over the last 120 years. So, you know, Jeff Bezos who created Amazon, you know, 30 years ago, he's worth $150 billion. And how is that possible? It's because he created a business that people want to buy stuff on, right? Started with the books and so on. So the point is that there's almost an infinite amount of abundance on this earth, almost infinite, right? I can't conceive of 400. I said the number but I can't conceive of $450 trillion. I tell people, if you stack US dollar bills in my living room right here, from floor to the ceiling, right? In this whole room, $1 bills, US dollar bills, you get a million. Mm. If you wanted a billion, you'd need a thousand of these rooms. Like that would go on for blocks and blocks. Yeah. <laughs> maybe a mile even. But if you wanted a trillion, that would be a thousand miles worth of these rooms. It, it, like I can't even conceive of it. You know, it's like it would take, you know, cover most of the United States. You know, that's a trillion dollars stacked from floor to ceiling in all these rooms. It's just like, it's such a large amount that no one can truly conceive of it. And that's, how much abundance there is on this earth. Wow. And so uh, why do the rich get richer and the poor get poor? Is it because you answered that question for me, Joel? Well, and I don't I don't believe that's true, actually. OK, tell me. So I I believe that it's just mindset. There are many rich that's people who have I mean. gotten poor and there's poor people who have gotten rich. And I, LeBron James is my example, but there's thousands, if not millions and millions of examples of people who have, you know, risen up, you know, you know, and it's mindset. If, if you ever listen to LeBron, he talks, I have about, intensively. He, he talks about believing all the time. I mean, you know, for him to win championships in, you know, and, and lift up his teammates, it was belief. He had absolute faith that he was going to win the championship. Right. Um, and, and so, you know, to, for Cleveland, you know, that, that was just like absurd, right? But he had the belief that he could do it. And so having that sense of belief and achievement, that's what I think leads to abundance. So if you're poor and you're visualizing a different life, if you're believing it, you're doing affirmations and you're not focused on what is. I tell my clients, don't focus on what is the more you focus on what is, you get what is, yeah. right? So, so I tell my clients to pretend, to daydream on purpose, to visualize. And I'm not saying do that, you know, eight hours a day. You got to get out into the world and take action and live your life. But if things aren't going well and what is, then spend more time pretending. And so if your situation is not great, don't focus on it. You know, I had one client who came to me a little over a year ago and he said to me, you know, every time I look at my checking account, I, I, my stomach hurts, I'm in pain. And I'm like, well, stop looking at it. <laughs> I'm like, it's not helpful, right? So why are you doing that? You know, why are you doing things that are creating pain or making you unhappy? Do things that make you happy, right? So you don't have to look at your checking account every day, you know, mm -hmm. you know, look at it once a week. Right. I mean, if you know, hopefully you're not bouncing checks throughout the week, but um, <laughs> um, usually most people aren't. Right. So, you know, you don't have to look at it every day. He this was the same guy I was telling you about earlier who was comparing himself to, uh, to people who were 10, 50 million dollars. He didn't have to look at his checking account every day. He didn't have to, but he was and feeling unhappy. So stop, you know, do things that make you happy. If, if what is your current situation is not great, then don't focus on it. And so anyway, to answer your question, I believe that the poor can become rich, the rich can become poor, and it's all about mindset and belief. Yeah. And maybe I should have rephrased that. Why, why is it that the, that the 
uh, of the mindset sometimes of people who, because I came from a very poor, but I, I just said in myself, my father used to take me to the airport and we would sit outside and watch the plane take off. And he would say, Constance, I won't ever be on that plane, but you can go anywhere in the world. And I begin to visualize and dream. He said, where do you think that plane is going? And I would make up something. Europe. I didn't even know where Europe was at the time. So, uh, you know, that's so powerful. So you and I were talking about visualization and prosperity prior to recording. Talk about visu uh, visualization and prosperity. And then we want to hear your TED Talk visualization story. Yes, yeah, so I, I teach visualization. And so there's six steps mm. um, plus a bonus step, Let, let's say the seven. So the first step is to pick a time that you're going to do it. So I'd, say, I'd recommend not doing it right after you wake up. You may fall back to sleep. Don't do it right before you're going to sleep. You may fall asleep. So pick a time, uh, pick a place. Don't do it in bed right mm -hmm. after you wake up or, you know, pick, you know, I do it in my living room, pick the amount of time, I'd say three to five minutes, no more. And if you get monkey mind, like I do, my thoughts are going, you know, and not focusing on my dreams, then just everything with grace and ease say, okay, I'll get to it tomorrow. The fourth step is to write down those dreams and desires before you start your visualization. So pick three, you know, Pick the island of Maldives or your dream car, or dream house, or dream spouse, or dream career, whatever it is, write down three of them. And really, like when you visualize, get into the details, like see the turquoise waters, see yourself having the orange juice and the kiwi and, you know, see yourself having the French toast and, mm -hmm. and, and, and who you're going to be with and how you're feeling, what the temperature is and what you're wearing, all that. And then step five is, I'd say the most important step, which is from Wayne Dyer's book, Wishes Fulfilled. He says, make your future desire, make your future dream a present desire by assuming the feeling of the wish fulfilled. Make your future dream a present desire by assuming the feeling of the wish fulfilled. So if you could feel the feeling of being in the Maldives and being so grateful, and appreciative and happy that, oh my God, you're here, you're living it, you're doing it. That is really important. And step six is to see yourself. If I have a hard time with this, but if you could be like having an out-of-body experience and looking down on yourself, mm -hmm. looking down and seeing yourself, that's powerful. And so here's the bonus step, which is thinking beyond the actual visualization. So you want the dream house or the dream car, don't picture yourself going to the showroom and shopping the Maserati, but driving the blue convertible Maserati up 95, you're going 100, shh, don't tell the police officer. <laughs> and you're like, you know, you got more hair than I do. Your hair's blowing in the wind. And you're just like, it's happened, right? Or the dream house, you're having a, a housewarming party for 250 of your closest friends in your new mansion, right? And, and you're giving the speech and everyone's so grateful that for you and you're grateful for them because it wouldn't have happened without all that, all of them and, and, and they're grateful for you helping them, you know, become financially free. And so like, it's thinking beyond the actual event, like thinking beyond the dream spouse, you already live, you're in a happily, you're in a happy marriage, right? So think beyond the actual event that you want to happen. That's the bonus step. That's so, really good. So tell us about your TED Talk. Thank you. Thank you for asking. So yes, uh, I recorded in August uh, 2022 my, my TEDx talk in uh, Lahui uh, on the island of Kauai. And so I joined a coaching program in the end of March of 2022. And the guy who, who did the coaching program, Taylor Conroy, recorded a series of videos and he recommended that you visualize having done your TED talk. And so he, he suggested writing a script 
of, okay, you did your TED talk, now what? And so I wrote a script of, I've done my, I, so the start of my script is, you've done your TED talk and, and you've done it before the end of 2022. And now you're helping so many more people become financially free. You're going into corporations and you're, and you're teaching people how to change their mindset and people are so grateful and you're earning this much money as a, um, a speaker and you're traveling the world, helping people become financially free. And you are so happy and so grateful that this TEDx talk went so well. So I, what I did besides just writing it down was I created an audio file, which I listened to every day, mm. right? So that was kind of, it wasn't a true visual. I wasn't like sitting down and, and visualizing for five minutes, but I listened to this and focused on these words every day since March of 20, March 27th. And it just happened. So what happened was part of this coaching program, they have accountability groups. And so I was part of two different accountability groups, one for my talk practice, one for my application practice or app, uh, filing applications, filling out applications. And my talk practice group had a woman from Kauai and she announced to us in June that she was doing her TEDx talk in Kauai. And I was like, wow, you know, she's part of our accountability group. It's like, you felt so grateful for her. And then she did it. And then she said to us the next week, by the way, they're still looking for speakers because she recorded hers. And so they're looking for people to record. So here's her email, reach out to the organizer. So I did. We had a conversation a few days later. She said, would you prefer to do the event or the recording? I said, I prefer to do the recording. She said, okay, let's set up a, a date and time. We set it up for August and I flew out from New York to Kauai in August and did my speech and it was almost surreal. It just, it, it was because I had been practicing, I had been seeing myself on stage I had been do, saying the listening to those words over and over again. Mm -hmm. And when I actually got up on stage and did the speech, I felt like I'd already done it before. That's true. That's good. And let me make us let me share something here. I'm so glad you said that you scripted it first and then you recorded it and you listen to it because when you script it you can see it in your mind so for some listeners or who may be watching this you might be saying it's hard for me to go in my imagination and like Joel it's easier for me to write it down and then hear myself then I can begin to visualize it yes absolutely it's it's, it's powerful it, it works really well so scripting it, then, then recording it, and then listening to it. You got it. The, the thing I recommend to everyone in my membership, all my coaching clients, my group courses, it does take some discipline, right? I did need to commit to listening to this one minute audio file every day, every day. And, I, and by the way, I'm still listening to it because it talks about what happens post the TEDx talk and that hasn't happened yet. So I'm going to listen to it until all those things create, uh, have been created in my reality. So I'm still listening to it uh, almost six months later. And, and it's, uh, it, it's a feel good. It's, it's also, I created it with a lot of emotion and excitement. And so I hear myself excited and emotional and grateful and appreciative. And so my vibration is lifted every time I'm listening to my own voice. But again, it takes discipline. It, it you know, I have to commit to listening to this one minute audio every single day, which I do. So, you know, you have to be committed. I have people who join my membership and, you know, they pay the money and then they don't watch any of the videos. And I feel so sad because it's an hour worth of videos, an hour to an hour and a half. It's 90 minutes a month. So it's like three minutes a day. You got, yeah. you got to be able to commit, you know, binge on money miracles, not on Netflix, right? So you got to, you just have to be disciplined in your life in general, I think, to be successful, a little bit of discipline, right? I, I don't believe in 
like you got to white knuckle it and work really, really hard. In mm -hmm. fact, I say don't work hard and become financially free. That's actually my signature, my email. Don't work hard and become <laughs> financially free. It should be fun. It should be easy. And we're mm -hmm. having fun, but you have to be disciplined. And, and it's a few minutes a day. Like you got to Like people tell me I don't have the time. I say I create time. I create the exact amount of time I need for everything in my life, not um, in, in my life. And I acknowledge I'm the source of time. I'm where time comes from. Yeah. And, and you know, and when people are listening to your videos, they're really getting in a vibration or a consciousness of prosperity or a state of prosperity, which is what you did that brought to you what you desire. Share your story about your, your daughter who couldn't, who lost something and what you told yeah. her to do. Yeah, so just a few days ago, Lauren up in Syracuse University, uh, up, I say up, because uh, I'm south of there. Mm -hmm. And she, we were talking and she told me she lost her skirt. So I told her to visualize. I say, first of all, you didn't lose it. Stop mm -hmm. saying you lost it. Whenever you, like, it's, so you're, you're putting that out there into the universe, right? No, you didn't lose it. I found it. Say, I found my skirt, I found my skirt, I found my skirt. She said, what? I said, yes, <laughs> act, as, act as if you found your skirt. You found it. And, and jump up and down and, and stop looking. She says, what do you mean stop looking? I said, well, if you lost something, you're looking for it. If you don't lose something, you're not looking for it. You found it, so stop looking. So she said, really? I said, Lauren, I teach this stuff. Just, just listen, just try for a week. Okay, if you haven't found the skirt in a week, then buy a new skirt. I said, I, I will pretty much guarantee that within the week, you'll found the skirt. So she called me up today and she said, Dad, I found the skirt, I found the skirt, I found the skirt. <laughs> it was in a different drawer. She had put it in her shirt drawer instead of her skirt drawer. I love that. So you know, at the beginning where you talked about being happy and grateful and just all day long. So is it in those moments that listeners might receive a download or an idea that would bring more wealth and prosperity to them and, and serve others because they are happy and grateful and joyful for what they have? Is that, is that how ideas can come to people that they can use to create wealth and abundance? It definitely can. It 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 can. I'd say it can come at any time. Okay. Um, but if if you're vibrating at a higher level for some small amount of minutes during the day, you're actually creating more abundance throughout the day, and I and, and, and a higher vibration throughout the day. So what I say is, if you're in a state of receivership for it, it may not come in those few minutes, but if you're meditating or maybe you're just you know your mind's clear like when i jog i listen to abraham hicks um and and maybe that's raising my vibe i don't know so i'm mm -hmm. jogging my mind's kind of like it's going right into some my subconscious and then i'll just get i'll get a, an idea i'll get a hit on like something i need to do or something i need to write or some person i need to reach out to but then other times I'm not listening to Abraham. I'm just walking along and it'll happen. So I, I say it can happen anytime, any place. If, if you're putting yourself into a position of just even three to five minutes a day of doing these things, right? And it, again, don't make it work, right? I, I do 10 things, but I don't make it work. I It's fun for me. I like to listen to Abraham while I jog. I like to think about the things I'm grateful for, right? I, you know, I have a gratitude journal. I like to visualize. It's fun. It's a fun part of my day to think about, you know, being in the Maldives or manifesting some money or, you know, manifesting these number of members for my Money Miracles membership, whatever. Like it's, it's fun for me to do that, so, but it shouldn't be, you know, I, I learned when I was managing my hedge fund, like there were days when I lost money six, seven, eight days in a row. And then I'm like, I got to make money today. I got to make money today. And then what happened? Lost money again. Right. Mm -hmm. So like I have found in my life over the last few years, especially letting go. is such a powerful way to live your life. 
Night walk, night, not white knuckling it, but just letting go. Oh, that's good. So you mentioned, I love that picture behind you. You mentioned living beyond uh, the manifestation. So now that you're finished with your TED talk that's going to be released soon, what is behind you and how is that an example of living beyond? For those of us who can see it, but if you can't see it, uh, what's that picture behind you? So, so this is the Maldives. So I am sitting at breakfast. Ooh, and, I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sitting at breakfast on Mali, which is one of the islands. There's many islands in the Maldives and I'm at a, at a resort. I don't want to mention names and okay. I'm, I'm, so this is the breakfast on the day that I'm about to start a three and a half day retreat for 250 people that have got to know me since I did my TEDx talk. So my, I, I've been doing a course called Infinite Peace and Prosperity online with a yoga and meditation teacher who's also a, uh, has written a couple of poem books and her name's Chara Rodriguez. And so we've been co-facilitating this course online for the last few years. And so we're going live this year. Uh, we're going to do a mini retreat. And then next year, we'll do the three and a half days uh, somewhere in the Northeast. And then we'll, the year after, we'll do it here on the Maldives. So I'm picturing, you know, be, you know, having a large group come with us and enjoy and be in the, on the other cabins across the way uh, with the pool and the jacuzzi in the cabin and they get a subsidized rate because they're coming with us and we're bringing 200 plus people of our closest, you know, the closest friends and family who are joining us. So they're getting a, a nice subsidized rate and we're going to take over the whole, um, the whole, the whole group of uh, the whole area so that uh, we can have this conference. So that's yeah. what I'm visualizing uh, beyond. Often beyond. So that, that, so I did the TEDx and, and now this is happening. And I haven't, to be open with you, Constance, I have not done a three and a half day uh, retreat where I led the retreat as a co-facilitator. I have not done that yet, but I will be. That, that, that is so easy for you to do. You have so much in you. So you have a money miracle membership and I see people being in that and wanting to come to you, come with you to the Maldives, explain, explain to listeners what that is. And let me just say before he said it, says anything, did you guys notice that he hired a coach to help him move to a different level and a higher level and knowing him, explain what your Money Miracles membership is. Yeah, it's funny because Tony Robbins, I see him all over and he's suggesting that everyone should have a coach. Absolutely. Yeah, I got everyone should have a coach. Yeah. So I, I have, I actually, so I hired uh, Taylor Conroy for the TEDx. I also have a strategy coach as well. So I do have two as well. Mm -hmm. And, and Taylor's great, by the way. So anyway, for the Money Miracles membership, I wanted to create a community where by People could come, uh, show their successes in a private Facebook group. We mm -hmm. have uh, two uh, two Q and A's uh, twice a month, where members can come and ask me any question they want about anything related to money and prosperity and abundance, mm -hmm. their mindset, and the membership. The goal is to take people from wherever they are towards financial freedom as quickly as possible. And you know, I have all different types of people. I have people who having a hard time paying the $59 a month to be open with you. Mm -hmm. And, and I'm okay with that. You know, I want to, I want to help them manifest at least $59 a month, which on average, my members have manifested on average, uh, 15,000. So, uh, we're up to, uh, actually one guy just manifested a few hundred thousand dollars these last few weeks. So we're up to almost a million dollars now, $950,000 of money manifested in the membership over the last year. So 
like you don't like one member said to me like it's crazy i don't know how like things are just happening money's just flowing so and and what i my mentor mike dooley says don't get bogged down in the cursed house right so don't think about how the money's going to flow like you think okay i have a job that's the only way i can make money no there's millions of ways money can flow to you in fact people have gotten like an IRS refund and they like, how did this happen from 2019? They sent me this check for $2,000. I'm like, manifestation, you just mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you know, or, or somebody got a refund. Like they took this course a couple of years ago and they didn't actually use it. And the, the person said, you know what? I'm going to refund you the, the $69 or $85. So I'm like, add it in, add it in, you know? So so you don't know how it's going to come. We also have a reward system. So you get points for attending a Q&A or we have accountability partners. So you get paired or paired up with somebody. So if, as you go through watching my videos, you can talk to somebody else about my videos and say, okay, you know, did you do that exercise? And what do you think of that? Was that really good for you? You know, or where are you in the stages? There's six different stages. You know, are you keeping up? Every time you get points for keeping up with each stage. So, you know, it's the first month and you're doing the introduction videos. Once you finish them, you let me know and you get 10 points for completing the introduction stage on time. And, and what the reason why I created the system is that you could win up to three months of one-on-one coaching with me, which is a $7,500 value. So I'm giving them the ability to manifest $7,500, which I'm not counting in the membership. Yeah. Uh, so, so you could win a free book. You can win a free uh, abundance mindset, hypnosis, meditation. Uh, you can win one additional free coaching program, or you can win a month or three months. So it, it just makes it more fun. And people are really engaged. They get really engaged when they hear about the point system. One woman just joined a couple of weeks ago and she's like, I did this, I did this, I did this. How many points do I have? I'm like, you have 165 already. You know, you're the fastest one to 165 points ever in two weeks. Right. So, so it's just, it just makes it more fun. And, and she's actually manifested $3,000 as well. So she's already gotten a, you know, a 60 dime return on her investment uh, this month. So anyway, the point is I, I want to help more people. I want to make it easy and fun. And it's a great group of people, of like-minded people helping each other, supporting each other. People post in the private Facebook group about their successes, about their manifestations. And it's just great to see, you know, oh, this just happened to me and I just got this amount of money. It's just awesome. You know, so it's $59 a month. And and then you have two Q and A's a month where they can ask you anything. You have a Facebook group. You have a private community where you're connected. And I just want to say to listeners, it's about valuing and honoring yourself enough to invest in yourself. I mean, I I, I spend fifty nine dollars just on what fingernails, you know. <laughs> a mani petty or, or something like that yeah. but but this man is a master managed 700 million dollars he knows about prosperity and money and this is a great opportunity for you to join of uh, this powerful membership and I'm going to strongly encourage you to do so and can I just say this you know I I I I get a feel for who people are I, you know, after 700 archive shows, I, I, I can get a vibe and discern who people are. And the reason I reached out to Joel is because I know that he genuinely uh, loves people. He really wants to help people. And, and, and I'm not trying to sound all wooey, but I know it was the spirit that had me to reach out to him and be nosy and say, what is he doing? He's doing reels. He has the wisdom and success leads clues. And so, so you guys go, what is your website and how can they join? Yeah. So it's, uh, it's Solomon named after my daughter's S-A-L-A-U-R for Lauren, M-O-R for Morgan.com. 
Okay. And right on the homepage, uh, you can click on join Money Miracles membership and uh, all the information's there. There's actually testimonials on the, the that link uh, where you click on join Money Miracles membership. And we got videos and audios and written testimonials from members. It's just awesome. And we also have an FAQ on there. So if you have any questions, mm -hmm. um, people, people, one person said to me, do I need to be a millionaire to be part of your membership? I'm like, I don't know. No, <laughs> actually, we want to get you to be a millionaire. Absolutely. Um, you don't need to be a millionaire first. Um, so there's a little confusion with that. Uh, again, it's, it's a three minutes a day time commitment. Uh, not a lot. And you know, it's $2 a day to join. And to be clear, you have to watch the videos, right? The videos on the platform, I've recorded seven hours worth of videos. So it's a little over an hour a month. And what's really, I'm really, really grateful is that I have reached out to people in my network um, and we've added bonuses. Mm. So there's a guy who um, helps people find equity in their business if you're an entrepreneur. So he, he did a video on business lending. Um, another woman who's a hypnotist, she created an audio file for self-hypnosis for mindset. Mm -hmm. I have two other mindset experts who added a bonus. So people are, in fact, um, later today, I'm recording a video with this guy who's a digital media expert, and he's going to mm -hmm. add his content. So I'm adding more and more content every day. So it's not just me. So you may get bored listening to me. So I got other people. The other thing I did in the last couple of months is I added the whole infinite possibilities course into the membership. Mm. So that's a, that's a really cool bonus. I, I, I reached out to, so Mike Dooley uh, wrote a book called infinite possibilities. I I'm love certain. that book. Yes, I'm certified to teach that. And then I reached out to a few others that I know who are also certified and they recorded each a chapter. So there's seven chapters. That whole uh, Infinite Possibilities course is included as a bonus into the membership. So I'm adding more and more content. So it's not just, you know, listening to me for seven hours, but you get all this extra stuff. And I I'm not going to increase the price. Um, it's, it's $59, um, for this time for September, 2022. Well, I'm going to join guys myself because I want to grow. I'm always growing and learning and changing and mm -hmm. going to the next level. So uh, that's what I'm going to be doing. George, thank you so much. You have, thank you for uh, me. uh you, you, you're such honor. a man of wisdom and, um, uh, I might see you in the Maldives. That's one of my favorite places in the world. Everybody check out his website, become a member, uh, and listen to this over and over again. Share it with your friends, your family, uh, your, your coworkers, because it is the will of God that we live in abundance and prosperity. So make a decision, everybody, to have a great week. Thanks again, Joel. Thank you so much, Connie.